Do you know what that means? To forgive? It's a decision we make to release a person from the feelings of anger we have at them. Fred Rogers grew up outside of Pittsburgh and he dreamed of being a minister. He went to seminary school and he gave people liberty to explore something deep and vulnerable about themselves. I asked him to pray for me. I figure anyone who is going through what he is going through must be awfully close to God. He had that amazing gift of looking at a person and seeing what that person needed that he was going to minister to that person. And that person in this particular case was me. We are trying to give the world positive ways to deal with their feelings. This piece will be for an issue about heroes. Do you consider yourself a hero? This movie is sort of like an episode of Mr. Rogers for adults. You said it was a play at the plate. Is that what happened to you? I'm here to interview you, Mr. Rogers. Well, that is what we're doing, isn't it? His ability for empathy was enormous. What he could do immediately to any person with any kind of problem, any human condition, was relate to it. He used to say, I think of myself as an emotional archaeologist because I'm fascinated by the stories that people bring. There's a mission there. There's a need to turn the lights on in every human being. Anything human is mentionable. Anything mentionable is manageable. My hope with this film was always that this isn't about telling the story of Mr. Rogers or telling a biopic. I hope that people take a moment to reflect on themselves and their own emotional self and their own emotional well-being and get to reflect on their humanity through watching the movie, which is a bigger challenge to the audience than I think people maybe will be expecting. All these people line up to tell you their problem. It seems like that would be an incredible burden on you. I'm grateful for your compassion. Is it? OK, let's assume it's a burden on you. There is no normal life that is free from pain. When I think of Fred, I often think of him in terms of what he did every morning, which was pray and think of the people he needed to pray for and write to those people. Cecilia Sherman. Colby Dickerson. Thank you, God. I'm told he got more mail than anybody in the United States. He'd answer all of it. How does it feel to be married to a living saint? If you think of him as a saint, then his way of being is unattainable. You know, he works at it all the time. It's a practice. He's not a perfect person. He has a temper. He chooses how he responds to that anger. My favorite Fred moment is always when Fred did the moment of silence. We'll just take a minute and think about all the people who loved us into being. Just one minute of silence. was one of the most important scenes in the whole movie because it sort of embodies what Fred can do, which is make you think about your own life. If you hit Fred on the right day or Fred hit you on the right day, he could change your life. Thank you for that perspective. I think there's a resurgence of Fred because the, the world sort of needs it. It's a very needful film right now. I hope people feel that they, too, can be Fred Rogers, that we all have a Fred Rogers in us. His spoken message is simple, but the message of his life is not simple, because the message of his life is goodness in action, goodness enacted. I think the best thing we can do is to let people know that each one of them is precious.